Hey everybody, this is DJ Fritz with Pure Power Streams with yet another video about the broadcast software mix. Now my previous videos have been primarily geared to people that are new to mix and trying to get them up and going so that they can be DJing. Today what we're going to go over is some of the more advanced features. I say advanced. These are other features that I personally use on a regular basis. And uh, some things that some of you may find uh, helpful and interesting. So we're going to start up here under preferences and live broadcasting. And you'll notice that each stream you put in has a check mark beside it or a check box. Uh, if you check the check box, that's the stream that you're streaming to. You can check up to five boxes at once and be streaming up to five streams at the same time. Do use caution. Make sure you've got enough internet to handle the load. You may need to change your encoding on them uh, down for less bit rate per stream so that way you can handle all the streams that you're, that you're streaming to. Also up here you've got this one here that says enable keyboard shortcuts. Now what that does for you is this is available on the, the Mix website uh, and this is the pre-set up way to run Mix by the keyboard. That way you don't have to use the mouse as much. Uh, some people are mouse people, some people are keyboard people. This is what I'm looking at now. Now, personally, I've got an old Logitech G13 gamepad, and it's really a shame they quit making it. Um, but it's all programmable, and so I have my Logitech G13 programmed to run Mix from. Um, now, I know that uh, Razer makes a programmable pad, and I think Taurus does too. Uh, where the same theory would apply. But for instance, I have one button that will connect to my stream, will load the first song in the deck, and will start the auto DJ playing, all with one press of a button. So the keyboard shortcuts can do a lot for you. Now if you slide over here to the right and click on this gear, these are settings for the particular skin that you're running. The skin I use is the deer skin. Uh, it's the one I'm the most comfortable with. And so that's what we're using today on this video. Other skins have similar features. You just have to find them on your own. Uh, now, when you're queuing music, you're going to come up here and you're going to cue a song. And maybe you don't want to play the first 12 seconds of the song because it's a, a weird intro, it's crowd noise, whatever. So you move your play mark there, then you click on the flashing FQ button and the C moves up there. Now you're cued, you're ready to go. When you start, it'll start playing. Something else that this does for you is every time you load that song from here on out mixed will remember that cue setting that you used you come over here you right click on the cue button boom your play line jumps up you're ready to rock and roll that way you start the song in the exact same spot every single time down here we have the auto dj feature once again something that i use quite a bit and what this allows you to do is you can take and load a few songs in there. You hit this button right here and it'll load the first song and starts playing it. Well then, once you get to the end of the song, based on the time you have here, as you'll see, it automatically segues over to the second song in the queue and loads the third. And it's all based on this time here. Uh, this is great. You got to make runs to the little boy's room, little girl's room, little DJ's room. There we go. There's a, there's a nice politically correct term. Uh, 
you don't have to pull it, you don't have to put on the you know live unedited version of Inagata De Vida. You can you know line three or four songs up and go take care of your business. Last but not least, we're going to talk about this area right here, and there's a double arrow button here. This is probably how you're going to see them at the beginning, and then you click this to open them up if you want to. Um, when you have these samples in here, and they're exactly that, they're short little snippets, and you click the play button, and it plays to whichever deck happens to be playing. If for some reason you want to stop it, you right click on the button and you stop it. If you want to replace, uh, replace that sample with another one, you just drop it right on top of it and away you go. Uh, I use samples quite a bit in my shows. They can be a lot of fun. They can also be annoying, so watch how you use them. Okay, folks, that's it for tonight. Uh, if you know some things like this that I have missed, please feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, that's how we grow as a community. Uh, mix at being open source. This is all about DJs helping DJs. So let's help ourselves. If you got any questions, feel free to shoot me one. I try to check my messages at least once a day, and I will be happy to answer any questions you've got. And for that, folks, I am out. Peace.